y'all, it's Katie and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about some of my favorite free fitness apps, so let's go. There have to be at least a million different fitness apps on the market today, and I'm sure we've all tried a bunch of them. So which ones actually work, and which ones work with the free version? That's what we're getting at today. I'm gonna show you a few that I've used and I really enjoy. I'm gonna show you the pros, the cons, and I'm gonna tell you my honest opinion of them because this video is not sponsored by any of the apps in the video. So all the apps I'll be highlighting today are all free, and I am using strictly the free versions of them because your girl doesn't like to pay for extra subscriptions, and I really hate watching videos out there who show you all the free features but on the premium version of the app, so you don't get a feel of what the app actually looks like with the free version. So this is for all of you free app lovers out there. So keeping things super simple in this video, I'm gonna tell you the overview of the app, some of my favorite features, and give it a rating of one to five stars. So our first category today is cardio, and we have two apps in this category today. First one is Smart WOD Timer. So I've been using this app for my own training and for training with my clients for around three years now. And I really, really love this app. I've tried a few different timing apps and this one just beats them all because of its simplicity and its features. And I really love how it has just four basic options that you can choose from for timing yourself. You can do four time, which is literally a stopwatch, but also it has an AMRAP, a Tabata, and an EMOM, and you can change the work and the rest intervals however you want with those. So it's so diverse. You can even add in extra sets with longer rest periods between them. So you can literally customize it a whole lot of different ways. And the only upgrades that you get with the paid version is that it removes all ads from the app and it also grants you this extra customizable timer that you can use, which honestly, I've never needed. So get it if you want it, but you probably won't need it unless you do some extra specialized Metcons or something. And personally, my favorite feature on this app is that if I'm doing several sets of a Metcon and I want a longer rest period between those sets, like let's say three minutes, then I can go into that and add sets and then add a customized longer rest period to go in between those individual sets. And I love that because it helps you stay on track with your Metcons and rest for the exact time you need rather than that stretching out to, I don't know, five, 10 minutes if you get on your phone scrolling or something. So it keeps you accountable and it keeps you on your workouts. So overall, I use this app almost daily. It is one of my favorites and it will get a five out of five stars. And our second app in the cardio department is ERG or ERG data. So I've been using this app for about one year and I started using it specifically for my hybrid training. Because of how much we use the ski and the row machine with DECA and High Rocks, that is super important to start to track your intervals and track your training. And it works really well for me because our gym has a concept to machines. If your gym does not have a concept to rower, ski erg, or any other concept to machine, then it probably isn't gonna be as helpful for you. But I really love using it as training for hybrid racing, especially DECA and High Rocks, both of those use a ski erg and a row machine. So having those stats on you, knowing your proper paces, knowing your threshold, knowing your strokes per minute, all that jazz is super important. And you can track all of that through this app. You can set it up to where you go for a specific meters or you go for a specific pace or maybe a time, whatever you wanna set that goal for, maintaining a specific heart rate. You can do that within this app and this app connects directly to the Concept2 machine you're using. So it's really, really nice to be able to just connect that and see that workout projected on the screen in front of you on the machine. So that has been one of my favorite tools this last year because it comes in so handy and I use it literally every week, multiple times a week. And my favorite feature about this app is that you can set custom intervals that are super flexible to whatever you need for your workout. You can go in there and design as many custom work and rest intervals to go back to back as you want. So it's literally whatever you want, sky's the limit, and it'll project on the ski or the row machine and it'll tell you when you're in a rest period and when you're in a work period, and it's perfect, it's so nice. So definitely try that feature if you haven't found it yet. So this app really helped me this past season with my hybrid racing and it was so helpful to track metrics and progress over time. So for me, this one was a five out of five stars as well. And our next app 
you could kind of call cardio because it's a hiking app. So this app is called All Trails, and I have really enjoyed this app. I've used it for about five years now, off and on, mainly for vacations because I go hiking with my husband a lot on vacations. So we love finding those panoramas and vistas, and this is the perfect app for that because you can go in and research when you get to a new location, research the trails in the area, research what's closest to you. You can find different ratings of trails, difficulty levels, what the terrain looks like, even with that time of year, how the seasons change that terrain. And you can find out important facts like whether it's pet friendly or whether there's restrooms available, where the parking is, all that kind of stuff is right there on all trails. And while you're on the hike, you can even track your hike so you can see exactly where you are on your map with your GPS. And this app literally came in clutch one time because we were hiking Enchanted Rock and we were on the very top of it when a lightning storm struck. And so we had to hightail it down, but we took the wrong exit. We went off of a, you know, unbeaten path. And so anyway, using the app, I was able to find the way back to the car and we were able to get back there safely and not get lost in the woods because of it. So I was super thankful to have the app on me and to have a GPS going in the background. So that's my favorite feature of that app because it literally saved us so much pain that day. But overall, I would have to give this one a rating of five stars because it is just such a fun app and you can rate and review the trails and share and it can become a social platform too, which is very fun. And in the land of nutrition, we have two apps we'll talk about today. The first one here is Chronometer. So I've been using this app for about two years now for myself and recommending it to clients as well. And this has been such a good app because it's so customizable. There's so many features that you can change whether you want to increase, decrease, modify your macronutrient, your micronutrient goals, whatever that might be in your diet, you can pretty much edit it or change it. So I'll use the app when I'm going through periods of tracking my protein intake and it's so easy to use because they pull from several large databases of different foods, different brands. So when you scan an item into the app, it's typically there. You don't typically have to go in and add the item yourself. There are a few more random specialty niche items where you might have to do that. But the good news is they do have a really nice recipe editor and food editor where you can create your own food items and recipes and it's really easy to add items into those. So even if you do have to do that, which I've only had to do that once or twice and I've been using it for a couple years, it's still an easy process. So I love it because it's very easy, scan and go, calorie tracking. And my favorite feature is the visuals. It has this little home screen with the bar on top where you can swipe through and see exactly how your calories look, your macronutrient distribution, your micronutrient distribution, and all of that right there. And it's literally like Apple rings. I already love closing my rings on my Apple Watch. So this is like closing my rings with my nutrients. So overall, this app is so quick and painless for calorie tracking, it has to get a five out of five. And the second app in the nutrition section is something called Plant Nanny. This one is a little bit more on the fun side, especially if you like that gamification, trying to find something that makes you feel like you're playing a game. So I've used this for about two years now, especially during my ACL recovery after surgery, I needed to hydrate really bad. So this was something to motivate me and get me hydrating even while I was down. And I continued using it for a long time after that because it's just so fun to grow little plants. So with this app, when you drink a cup of water, you can literally add that cup of water and then it waters your little plant for you. And as you drink more water and as you log more cups, then it grows that plant over time and then it can go down into your tree trunk hall of fame to display it alongside all your other beautiful plant babies. So my favorite part about this app is just that it feels like a game, but it gets you drinking water and it makes you think about it throughout the day. So that's what I love about it. I think overall, there's a lot of features that are hidden behind the paid um, platform. And so that's kind of not a great feature uh, about the app, about the free version. I would like there to be more free options on the app, but oh well. So for that reason, this one's only gonna get four out of five stars, but it's still a fun little cute app if you want it. And rounding out our lineup today in the category of cycle tracking, we have Wild AI. So I've been using this app for about three years on, off and on, and it's a really great app if you're trying to hone in on your cycle, where you are in it, and then how each week of your cycle makes you feel, and what you can do in response to that to help you train better and recover better. So Wild AI syncs to your phone's health app to help 
incorporate some data there so that it can give you helpful training and recovery recommendations for nutrition, recovery habits, things like that that can help you recover better. And it also features a daily check-in that has to do with different lifestyle factors and symptoms that you might be experiencing based on where you are in your cycle. And based on that check-in, it's also able to tell whether, let's say you had a bad night's sleep, you're dehydrated, and you're on your cycle. You know, you're not gonna have a very good training day, so that readiness score is gonna be a lot lower than it might be if you had done some better recovery and lifestyle things, or if you're on a better week of your cycle. So after you check in, you get that readiness score, and that's just a nice number to know where you are on the spectrum of preparedness to train. So if you are 80, 90 plus, you know, you're probably ready to hit some really high intensities in training that day. But if your readiness score is not that high, if it's 70, 60, or 50 or below, then you probably want to reduce your training intensity just a little bit of that day to respect your body. And I think my favorite feature about the app is that it explains everything. If you click into the recommendations or you go over to this other section here where you can find all these different articles and things, it'll tell you exactly why it's giving you these specific recommendations and how that's going to help you with your training. My favorite thing about this app is that it doesn't just give you a recommendation for no reason, randomly. It literally tells you in-depth explanations of every single recommendation it's giving you and why. So that's one of my favorite things. If you click into those suggestions, then it'll give you lots of information on why that's the case and why that will help you in your recovery and your training. So overall, I really love the concept of this app and I used it for literally a year straight when I first got it. I think it is really helpful in tuning into your body and understanding what your body is doing throughout its cycle and how those hormones also affect your training and maybe how to respect your body a little bit more during training. The only downside here is that it does get tedious because you have your normal daily check-in and then every workout you do after that, you have a check-in about each workout. So if you log two workouts a day, that's three total check-ins for the day, which can get pretty tedious pretty fast. So if you're down for that, great, go for it. Um, especially if you're just doing it for like one cycle or you're doing it for just a couple months, you know, something shorter term, then definitely it's very helpful. But if you're doing it long term, like a full year like I did, it can get a little bit much. So because of that, I'm gonna have to dock a star and only give it four. But I still think it's a really great app. So those are just a few of my favorite fitness apps. What are your favorite fitness apps? Do you agree with my ratings? Go ahead and let me know down in the comments. And if you like this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up and subscribe so you can stay tuned for more of my content. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay healthy, bye.